I think the most important thing you can do is understand that you're different from the person sitting beside you, right? We're all, we all have different strengths and weaknesses and we have different interests. When we started in real estate, we thought, oh, wholesaling is all we're going to do, blah, 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 right? And people were like, flip suck, rental suck, whatever. And we realized that our interests kind of were more towards the rental and closer to the flipping, which so our skills were more related to financial management and kind of management of assets and management of renovation projects and things like that. Um, I wasn't really a great salesperson, though I did have to learn how to do it. And it, you know, sales and marketing, while was it was very interesting, it I wouldn't like want to wake up in the morning and like, yes, let's do it. 200 more calls today like that just wasn't me right and that's okay like if that's you like find a partner that wants to do that or find team members who wants to do that the more you understand who you are and what your strengths are the better you're going to do so when i understood that yes i still did the calls to actually get some money in the beginning but after we generated enough income to hire someone then we hired someone to answer the phones